for a double. What is going on you guys? It's your boy Pizzagate Israel here and we're back um, with episode 13 of the Let's Play series. So I'm here at our um, cave spider spawner we uh, we made in the last episode um, and again I'm at some point I'm definitely going to furnish this up make it look um, a lot different so it looks a little bit better but if you saw from the uh, intro screen there, we got a ton of diamonds. I got about a stack of diamonds. Um, plus I got probably two, almost three um, more netherite ingots we can add to some gear. Um, I've also been doing a ton of enchanting over here. So I got a bunch of books, a bunch of pickaxes. Um, got some great bows. Um, but most of that's still over at the uh, at the sort of the, the starter house over there. Um, but this episode, we're not going to be working with uh, the spider spawner anymore. We're going to go back over and work with um, our uh, our villagers. Um, and I think probably the easiest way, um, just so you don't literally see, hear me cursing at villagers for an hour and a half, is that uh, we just sort of make it a little montage of um, God damn it, of uh, of me putting the villagers into place. So I'm going to see if I can't get villagers set up. Um, I'll start with those Fletchers just because we have. Um, I just mean so much string here. It's not even really funny. We have just so much. Let's see if I can't get that. Yeah, we have so much string. It's not even funny. Um, so we're going to need a Fletcher. Uh, I'll go ahead and put those guys in. See if I can get the string trade rolling. Uh, get some emeralds. And then we can also put in those farmers. So I'm going to have a lot of farmers in there too. Because we're eventually going to get um, some large scale farms. Probably sugar cane and pumpkins. Are probably the first two big... Uh, agricultural farms we'll get um, and then I'll see if I can't maybe put the uh, the fishermen in um, and then maybe or maybe not um, the armors and oh the librarians too I can't believe I forgot about those but yeah we're probably gonna go with the librarians in maybe get some mending trades um, to see what kind of trades we can get uh, with those uh, oh my god I'm gonna die fuck I don't have any armor what the fuck am I doing <laughs> my idiot uh, Anyway, so uh, here's a montage of me sort of putting the villagers in their place, um, both in a literal and figurative sense, because I probably killed about 10 of them um, in the process of doing this. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys sort of on the other side of all this. So, uh... little update on putting our villagers in place so we got got our Fletchers here um, I trade some string with them to get some emeralds uh, in the meantime we got a short a uh, small little stock of emeralds um, so we got about six stacks um, so we got uh, both two Fletchers in place I honestly might put another one maybe up there somewhere at some point but right now two Fletchers is probably um, probably enough for right now um, and then I also have all the farmers in place, which took a while. Um, but I put them along the top there, right where those trap doors are you see up there. That's where I put um, all of our farmers. And we have about ten of them. So we have five on each side. Um, and I've traded with some of them. Um, and the great thing is some of these got, guys got pumpkin trades, which is uh, just perfect. I think we have six so far. That's three, four... Five. All five of those guys got pumpkin trades. Let's see, this guy's got a pumpkin trade at six. Nope. I don't know yet. Uh, seven. Yeah, so we got seven guys with pumpkin trades so far. Could possibly be eight, um, which is nice. Um, so I got my farmers and my fletchers done. And then 
I put also the fisherman in there. Just started with two again. I can't imagine I'm gonna be using the fisherman that much, but I might use him use him as sort of a secondary way to trade some string for some arrows in the meantime. So these guys are whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> these guys guys are farmers right now, but hopefully um, we can get them to be fishermen here uh, pretty soon. Um, so now I need to breed some more villagers because uh, we sort of that farmers putting all the farmers in sort of took a lot out of our stock, so we don't have too many villagers left. But I am breeding some more. Um, no, 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 no! You guys do not get to leave. Okay. Um, but we, I am breeding some more. So here's some little guys in here. Um, we got about eight or so. But these guys kept escaping. Uh, out this little one block hole here when I had glass so I have to sort of block it off they're just looking for exits um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna wait for this to repopulate some more and then we'll start working with the um, librarians I'm gonna probably go up this way yeah so then I started I already got my I've been using mine carts to, to get all these guys where we need them I think it's the easiest way to do it and then I've been using activator rails um, to sort of spit them out where I need to. Um, but the librarians will be next, so I'm going to see if I can't get um, some of our trades knocked out. Ideally, obviously the mending trade is what we're, at, we're after first. Um, probably mending and then unbreaking three is going to be the next important one. But if I get one of these other ones uh, before that, um, that's, that's fine again. Like if I got a silk touch, I'd probably just take it. Um, and then work on another guy. So that's what, that'll be the next thing we're working on is getting um, some of our enchantments out of the way. This one's going to take a while, um, but um, yeah, I'll check back in once we've made uh, some progress. So you can see we got uh, our first mending villager, um, but we I've done a lot more work since then. Um, we basically got in a good chunk of the enchantments we're going to need for now. So now I'm just sort of working on the last um, the last sort of ones we need. The first first one we got was a silk touch guy. Um, nine emeralds is pretty good, uh, but I've seen it as low as five. So um, nine emeralds is all right. And I've also done a little bit of trading with a few of these guys. Uh, to sort of get some books, so I got some Silk Touch books. Um, got an Efficiency Five. That, this is a ridiculous deal. I've never seen anything this low. So we got Efficiency Five for 18 emeralds. So I got uh, a ton of those books. We also have uh, Prot Four for 39. It's a little expensive, but I got two of those for us. Uh, so this is our first mending guy we got, which is 14. Um, so I bought some from him, and then we actually got one that was way cheaper. Uh, so I got another mending guy who's here with 10, which is pretty good. Um, so I bought more from him. I mean, eventually we can just sort of cure them all, and we'll get like one one emerald trades for them. Uh, but for now, we'll sort of play their game and give them the rip-off prices they want. Uh, we also got him breaking three here. So this is my this is my deluxe corner right now. Uh, mending, I'm breaking. Uh, this is kind of expensive for unbreaking, but I don't really care. Uh, I got a bunch of those uh, as well. 
And then I got a uh, Power 5 guy, which is uh, pretty good for 35. So Power 5 is not bad. I bought one of those. Um, and the last guy I want is a Sharpness 5. Because I want to end up putting Sharpness um, on my sword and my axe. Because I like doing like axe crit hits on uh, with one-shotting guys. So I like to do that sometimes. Um, so I definitely want Sharpness 5, and it took me forever to get these guys, I just haven't gotten Sharpness 5 yet. Um, so I'll, I'll do that real quick, um, and then we'll sort of go on to the next thing. Um, but that's just sort of what we got so far. So I'm going to go ahead and get our last uh, librarian in here, and see if I can't get a, uh, the Sharpness 5 on it. Come on, you motherfucker. This guy's a piece of shit. Oh, hell here, yeah, brother. Put her there, hoss. All right, there we go. We got our baseline eight. Um, baseline eight all in place. Um, we have two mending villagers. I know it's sort of a duplicate. I, um, I'm hoping their secondary trades are something decent. Uh, but I guess we won't really know until uh, until that happens. But I got our sharpness five guy in there, so. I punched him a couple times on accident, so he's ripping us off. Uh, but 31 for Sharpness 5 is not bad. Um, plus, we'll eventually get, like I said, we'll probably um, cure all these guys at some point and uh, make it so it's all basically just one emerald for everything, um, which is how we eventually want it to get. Uh, but for now, for now they're going to rip us off, so it's whatever. Can't really do anything about it. Um, so uh, next... Let's see, what the fuck was I going to do next? Alright guys, so I've done uh, a lot of mending, a lot of, uh, a lot of repairing tools and stuff and combining stuff together. This is sort of our final haul right now. We got uh, three efficiency five silk touch mending and breaking. Uh, we got two fortune threes um, with efficiency five and breaking and mending as well. And then I got two with just efficiency four. Um, I could probably up these later. And then this one... This one is super expensive. It costs like 33 levels. So I'll just do that one later. Um, but now, for I guess with this, with these sort of uh, like eight pickaxes we have right here, we can probably go do some damage uh, in the Nether. So let's go find some Netherite at least to uh, to round out our setup. So just Netherite for the chest plate, and then these three tools here. Um, that way we're sort of um, we're sort of good on uh, on our stuff. So, I'm going to go get some netherite right now. What the fuck? To explore all nether biomes. Nice. I, uh... I wasn't trying to do that, but, uh, we did it. I don't... Where are we? We're in the nether wastes? Really? Is that really the one we haven't found? Oh, the crimson forest... I guess. I guess we hadn't been in a crimson forest yet, so, um... Nice, we did that. That's awesome. There we go. Nice. Finally, more than one. Jesus Christ. Alright, thank God I'm done with that. Uh, Loki mining for netherite fucking blows. Uh, so hopefully we won't have to do that for a while. Actually, we're not gonna do it for a while because I don't care. Alright, there we go. There's five netherite ingots. Alright, now we can start upgrading all of our gear. So there's our chest plate. That looks much better. Ah, finally. Alright, we're finally back full <laughs> full netherite. Hopefully permanently, uh, cause we have mending on it this time and a decent source of XP, so Hopefully, uh, we're not <laughs> resorting back to iron at any point or anything like that. Um, we also have an extra netherite ingot, um, which I'm not sure what I want to add this to. Um, I think I'm going to want to add it to another sword, uh, but I want to add it to a smite sword. It's like a smite 5 sword if we can get one of those. Um, that'll be nice for killing uh, the wither. Um, but for now, I'll probably just keep it off everything. Uh, although we have another pair of good boots there. Yeah, we'll just I'm just gonna leave this uh nether I didn't get it in here for the next thing we're gonna need. Um so that'll probably be a sword, but uh, I guess we'll see. So 
to finish off the episode for today, I think we can go Wither Skeleton Skull Hunting, kill the Wither again, and set up for a beacon maybe over uh, by the clock tower. In addition to one here. This one, that one over there will probably just be speed for now. Because um, I do kind of like having this little speed boost around. Uh, especially when I'll be running around building, moving villagers around and stuff like that. So I'm going to grab, uh, go find one more Wither Skeleton Skull. And then um, go kill the Wither again. So we have two right here. Uh, we're going to want the third one. I'll take some of these pots I brewed up. Let's go. Come here, boys. Let's go. One of you motherfuckers better give me one. That guy gave me nothing. This guy is being a cuck. Damn it. Damn it. Come on, now. Well, god damn it. I wasn't fucking recording. But we got two more. I literally killed two guys over there. Just like, just hopped on. And we got two more with their skeleton skulls, so we can now go. Oh my god, damn it. Alright, well, we can go now kill the wither again and uh, get our third beacon. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then um, we'll go. We'll wrap up the episode after that. Alright, um, good to go. We got everything. Alright, yeah, let's go. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, what the fuck? All right, here we go. Holy shit. Diamonds, no, damn it. He's blowing the shit out of these fucking diamonds. This guy can suck my dick. Quit blowing up all the goddamn diamonds, you fucking idiot. Alright. <laughs> it's like he blew up four diamonds, no. Alright, whatever. Well, at least we exposed some diamond there, so um, not that bad. Damn. Oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um, probably not our smoothest run, but, uh, you know, I'll take it. Okay, I'll eat this guy's lunch, too. Look at that. Because I got strength 2 on right now, but whatever. Alright, let's go set up uh, another beacon, maybe, uh, out by the villager area. Here's will do speed 1 and regen. So, yeah, we got speed one now around the village. Solid. All right, guys. So that's probably going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, next episode, we are probably going to build a large-scale sugarcane farm. I'm not quite sure where I want to put it yet. Um, it's probably going to be underground somewhere, but I wanted to make it a uh, completely automatic, huge uh, sugarcane farm. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, we're going to make a, uh, a large scale sugarcane farm. Completely automatic, of course. Um, I made a lot of observers. We're going to need a lot of pistons. Um, and then we'll try to make it pretty look pretty cool. But I'll probably put it underground somewhere. Uh, maybe somewhere that's loaded in a lot. So maybe even underground. Like underneath this or something like that um, but we want part of the reason I chose sugarcane is because um, a we can uh, trade with these uh, librarians a lot and get uh, emeralds from them um, and it's, it's one of the cheaper ones to get uh, sugarcane grows pretty fast uh, you can trade it pretty well it can also make books from it which is nice uh, we can do that also in the future we're gonna want um, a lot of paper for rockets uh, to propel our elytra, so we're gonna want that eventually anyway, so we might as well um, Go ahead and get a large supply of sugarcane. It uh, it can't hurt Yeah, that was, that was a successful episode. I will um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching